Gut. What up, what up, what up? It's your boy Dub. It's your boy Ross. And this is Clutch going. Roll. Back to you, ladies and gentlemen, and what another vision of that. You feel me? All right. Uh, we're going to check out when supercar racers get humbled, part yes, three. Yes, sir. We've been checking out some of these series. Uh, we checked them out. Uh, it's been a while since we checked one out on uh, on the Rogue page. But, you know, it's always a, a good good time when you see some guys, you know, they think they got the, the fastest car in the street. Man. Facts. And they end up getting gapped by a nigga with a Honda and a laptop. Mm-hmm. Don't know what to tell you. It happens. It happens to the best of us, man. These these give me motivation. Yeah, 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 for sure. I'm right, gonna so. tell you why right now. But, <laughs> All right, so. man. Let's get in this. Get into this one. Should be a good one. Let's do the damn thing. Let's get it. Supercar owners will be cocky. What do you say? He owns. In today's episode, supercar owners will be cocky. Oh, okay, McLaren my car. Okay, I got you. I got you. McLaren D bag. <laughs> That's a name in his phone. This nigga had time to title him. Title here's him. here's the thing. If you don't track Hawks, motherfuckers is fast, bro. If you, you you can't. I think people get confused with paying three hundred thousand dollars for a, a nice supercar and thinking they can smoke everybody out the lot. When paying it, for aesthetics, bro. You're you're paying more for the name. And then you're paying more for, like Dub said, the aesthetics, aesthetics, and then the parts and shit. But in actuality, there's a lot of fast cars out there, or you can even make it, build up your car to be faster than some of these supercars out here mm-hmm. with way less money. But people just think, I pay money, I'm going to be the fastest, and it's not the fucking case, bro. And all you got to do is just say which one you are. Like, I'm, a, I'm the type of guy, I'd rather my car look better than being super fast. Because some of these niggas be pulling up in chum bucket vehicles but then be the ones that are smoky but i can't ride in that all day if i have the choice but facts you know pick a side they will get smoked goodness that tail six is ridiculous and most importantly they will be humbled sorry for winning wave damn What's going on boys and girls? Welcome back to Exotic Rubber. Your boy Fonzie here and today we're going to be watching what happens when Plato tune up cars go up against the big bad supercars. Listen, I'm a fan of all cars. I don't care. Every single one of them. JDM, muscle, supercars, everything. But something special happens when a 1500 horsepower <laughs> shitbox goes up against a Lamborghini, a supercar, or even a Bugatti. It makes yep. for an amazing entertaining race. And that's exactly what we have going on today. Up first, not a shit box necessarily but we do have a bmw m4 Ooh. up against a trash talking 1200 horsepower gtr let's take a look so how long because the thing is if i'm on if i'm on the launch control for more than four seconds hey them gtrs control. go i'm just letting you know so i'm not even gonna i'm not even gonna make a pass or nothing so I, I, comes out to race, bro. I know but i'm just letting you know like i'm not gonna get burned down all so. right if, so say once you flash your lights once i flash my lights light, coming on after five seconds before five seconds well, I need four, three, two, one. Like I need to know how long. So, so as soon as as soon as the light, as soon as I flash my light, if I'm on it for more than four seconds, I'm not moving. Helmet on and all that. Do not sleep on them M4s. Yeah, no. Do not M4s. sleep on BMW, M, M, anything M competition, bro. I ain't gonna lie to you. The they give you a problem. Bad. Yeah, they give you. They give you more than a problem. Don't think it's give you more than a problem, bro. I, I ain't gonna lie to you. I've I've been gapped by some BMWs, bro. Them niggas is fast. What can I do? <laughs> what can I do? I'll be faster. <laughs> Here's turbo. See how chill it is, though. Oh, that was a good run. He got him. He got him. He got him. We think about to run in the street. Yep, he got him. I'm not sure if he jumped, but he got him. Look like he jumped, though. The thing about them GTRs, they're better, especially if he's running that much horsepower. They're better off of, on rolls. Like, if you're doing a road race, he probably would have lost. But from a dig, yeah. M4 got him. Yeah. But it looked like, no, oh, I'm not yeah. Look 
looked like he jumped, but I, I couldn't tell timing wise. This All next one's on great. DTR, we have a Lamborghini Urus one. versus a sleeper Ford F-150. Well, when you're doing that type of power, like, uh, you know, the dancer Dan, Dan Rue, mm -hmm. he has a GTR. And he don't do dig races. Mm. He, he does. He only does roll races because the amount of heat had to rebuild his transmission. I think he's running like over 1,500 horsepower. It's fucking ridiculous. But when you're running that much horsepower. Damn, damn. So or whatever. Damn. For whatever reason, with GTRs, I've seen they better at road races because you try to do a dig, it'll just stall. Depending, get all that amount of power and horse trying to push out off the line, it can't handle it. I'm guessing that so. looked like old oh, boy jumped in the M4 though. I ain't gonna hold yeah, it, it definitely. So they, they ain't hey. arguing. So hungry? Oh, he in a uh, here. And I'm uh, screaming. Someone said in the chat, Lambo trucks is it's just aesthetics. It's a fast, it's a fast vehicle, but bro, that's yeah, why it's bro. a pointless. It's, know, it's it's just aesthetics, bro. If you just want a vehicle, you, a Lambo truck, just to have yeah, one. Have that's, it. that's really you can it got is. you can make some upgrades and you know make it faster, but just stock. Yeah, it's just really want to have a conversation. Up next, we have a situation Maserati. very similar to the last right. clip. We have a cocky <laughs> NSX versus a track hawk. And all I have to say is that NSX sure did get humbled. He said they want to race me in that. Tell me you don't know about cars. Nigga said that, you that's really want to race me in that. Look what I that's, got. That's what I know. You got it because it looked good. You don't know much about cars. Because if any car person knows about cars, when they see a track hawk, they automatically know there's a good chance I'm going to get gapped by this guy. Unless I know I have something built in my shit, there is a very good chance I'm going to get gapped. I mean, let it go. Come on. Come on. That's one car. That's about two cars. <laughs> Three cars. Four cars. Yeah, bye bye. Bye bye. Wouldn't even look at me. Yep. He knew what was up. Buddy in the yeah, NSX did not want to even look at the track hog at the end. Come Next on, up, the car getting humbled Mass is not a supercar. We have pro race driver Misha Sharadin overtaking a 650 horsepower BMW M2 while driving a 200 horsepower Honda Civic. Driver mod is real, people. Hang on, bro. Look at this shit here, fam. Uh -huh. Watch this. Handling it too. Oh, hey, oh, move it. Oh, 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 oh. This is probably uh, on one of them tracks. Yeah. Uh oh. He right, he right there. This is probably uh kilometers. Yeah. Yeah. Kilometers. You talking about with the speed? Yeah, 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 yeah. Cause someone said two hundred miles. Nah, this is not it's not most likely it's not um miles per hour. So cause it looks like that, because the how fast the number is rising, it's yeah. most likely not miles per hour. Yeah. Uh oh, we about to overtake him. Bye. Oh. Hold on. That smirk. He's <laughs> yeah. It's, uh, uh, 
All right, this next one's a banger. Damn. 1,000 horsepower McLaren 720S versus a 1,000 horsepower Jeep Trackhawk. Little backstory, the McLaren had been talking so much smack online, saying there's no way that an SUV would ever beat them. Let's take a look. Look, I think 800,000 for this car. Dude, that's the McLaren you know, D-Bag. You know, what is it, a Hellcat, Scat Pack, whatever, whatever you want to call it? I just want to see the expression when he lose. Like I think that'd just be the sweetest strange, thing. Bro. I, it's, uh, I'd be hating that. Just niggas really think, oh, I paid 300 and I'm the fastest. You're not. How do you feel I, after spending you, that much money and still not being the fastest? You're not the fastest, bro. That's why I put respect on boys' names. If you willing to line up, then I don't know what you got, but I'm going to put some respect on it because I don't know. And McLaren's are fast. Motherfuckers are fast as shit, but that all-wheel drive with these track hawks is something Ooh. different, bro. Watch. Yeah. 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 That's clear gone though. I ain't gonna hold you. No. You got him. This next one makes me so happy. It makes Damn, me want to just buy a man, so the reaction. clapped out hatchback civic and build that thing to make it the ultimate ricer. I think I might do it this year. Uh oh. A GPR too. Got a race, ladies and gentlemen. Oh, he ain't had nothing in the back seat either. Yeah. He's Lam casually, it's Lambo. Like the, it's it's like the drop down for that Honda. It takes Lambo a little Rari. bit once he start shifting. Then he just creeps right back up, bro. Oh my god, bro. Honda should put fear in some y'all. He don't got nothing in his back seat either. Yep. Yep. Up next, Damn, we have the ultimate bro. American muscle versus supercar showdown. We have one crew of muscle cars and we have another crew of supercars battling it out in the streets of Mexico all night long. He's coming. This should be a there good race, go. but at the there same time, this, this poor bit about to get it, ready? bro. That's a Mustang. Yeah. All right. Listen to it, Wait. though. You hear it? Oh, so he's in the fucking... Damn. He's in the... What car is he He's in the vet, right? No, he's in the McLaren. Oh, okay. Damn. Oh. Wow. He said, wow. Oh, okay, yeah, yeah. That must be definitely big So now we're gonna do the McLaren's roll. We're gonna do a 60 roll, so this should be a little bit closer. Oh, no, it's not. It's not. It's not Are gonna be you closer, ready? though. Oh, it's out of bed! Nope. Damn. It's a good race. There's it was cool. close. It was closer uh, until it wasn't. Goodness. That Z06 is ridiculous. Wow. Ain't nothing you can do about it. Ready? One. Another Yep. Yep. Yeah, he already got him. It yeah. was already done. Wasn't nothing, to, wasn't nothing else to prove. Ready? One, two, three. Drop down, bro. Because when it drops down in the gear, yeah. right, it's just gone. Well, playing with the food this at this next point. This one's pretty self explanatory. Yeah. It's short and sweet. Let's roll it. Oh, no. What is he in? Ooh, that, that's gift. No, he's in a Lambo. He's in a Lambo. Oh, he's with him! Oh, oh shit! 
Yeah, yeah. nigga, what you thought this was? Bro, that don't make no fucking sense. Exit, bro. exit, bro. Go home. Bro. Take your car to the crib. That hoe is not even Park aerodynamically it. sound. Park it. <laughs> it just. Oh, you no thought it was it. over? That nigga definitely hit the Nas, bro. He yeah. hit the Nas. I don't want to hear that, bro. I raced the nigga with a you Nas tank. Nah, bro. That you being bro. a hater, bro. I'm not. I'm not. He just said sell the car. Hey, man. If a nigga got a Nas tank or a laptop, what can you do? Hey, <laughs> what bro. can you do? And Go they missing home, back park seats. It. Go home and park it, <laughs> and don't let that car be seen in the light of day no more. <laughs> All right, we have another good one. This next one's great. Not a supercar, but I just wanted to show it to you guys because I enjoyed the clip. We have a 600 horsepower Supra up against a 2008 Lexus IS. And I'll have to say is his girl's a real one. Supra versus a Lexus IS. Ah, wait a minute. A Lexus? He got the police radar going on or the police uh, scanner. scanner. So, so that lets me know he be, he be speeding. <laughs> Anybody, if you How ever you know? see, I can. Most of the people I see out, they have police scanners on their shit. That's yeah, how I know. Yeah, gosh. they be speeding. <laughs> I see what you're trying to do, but no, I'm just ask questions. <laughs> Throw the window up, Ashley. Wow. Alexis is. Oh. <laughs> what? That is interesting. That's about it for today's video, guys. I really Alexis, hope you guys I wouldn't have, you I wouldn't have sure seen that like. happening like that. I, I don't know if they knew the power of they uh super. Maybe they didn't. You know, some people don't be realizing it. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, yeah, no, for sure. So, but yeah, hey, that's why you never know. That was interesting. No, for you, sure. Like, never know. Like you said, put respect on people's uh, vehicles, man, because you just never know what's under their hood unless mm -hmm. you had a conversation beforehand and then that's yeah, another yeah. story. But, um, yeah, 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 for sure. Now, nah, if y'all enjoyed the video, you already know what to do. Make sure you those likes, subscribe, let us know what else we need to be checking out, man. Keep on supporting us. Y'all want some more of these videos? Hit us up in the comments down below. Share. Rogue Squad. Appreciate y'all for joining. Peace out. Already, man.